Well, we are getting a better picture now of what happened inside the Evergreen Pet Store in Spokane Valley. The owners of Evergreen Pet and the animal's caregiver being charged with animal cruelty. They claim back in November that the animals were being cared for, even though the sh uh, shop had been shut down in August for tax evasion. But charging papers obtained today by KXY Force Colleen O'Brien tell a different story. Evergreen Pet today is still being liquidated, though the owners of the store who are being charged with animal cruelty no longer in charge of this store. It's the building's owner. And today it was a much calmer scene, unlike in November, when stories of dead, emaciated, feces-covered animals were being told. I was really upset because what I saw in there was just horrible. It was a community of animal lovers in distress back in November when people were let inside the Evergreen Pet Shop to buy up what was left of the animals and products. They need love. They need their horrible condition. They need medications. Until now, we didn't know what investigators found inside Evergreen Pet. These court documents provide statements from three witnesses, three animal protection officers from Scraps, and two veterinarians, all who claim animal neglect and cruelty. When one witness got inside Evergreen Pet on November 9th, two and a half months after the business had been shut down for tax evasion, she found it impossible to walk anywhere without stepping in feces. She found a Pomeranian and a white cat crying out. Two doctors from Spokane Valley Animal Hospital testified that the dog was dehydrated. Its fur matted and covered in feces. It had a heart murmur, severe dental disease, and toenails so overgrown they were curling into the pads of its feet. The cat couldn't walk, according to veterinarians, was considered emaciated at only five pounds, and so dehydrated nobody could draw blood. The only humane option, they said, was to euthanize the cat. Dr. Cheryl Blumenstein said that, quote, malnutrition and neglect contributed to the cat's condition and it was questionable if even the basic needs of the cat were being met. According to court documents, Nichelle Nerger said that she realized the animals were in poor condition, but blamed that on a, quote, breakdown in communication. She also said that care was not given for just five days. According to these court documents, there is picture evidence of all the witness and veterinary claims that are being made, though they're going to be withheld from the public until Curtis and Nichelle Nerger and Shane War are brought to trial for animal cruelty on April 15th. Reporting in Spokane Valley, Colleen O'Brien, KXOY4 HD News.